Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back for another video. I am Starko and today in this video we will be doing a guide slash review about the tier 2 Maximus. A Maximus was released in the update 2.9 and he is a totally awesome character. Yes, he's not top characters, uh, he's not mandatory characters for anything, but he is awesome. Uh, I test him in about every a uh, game mode possible so far, except uh, Battle World, I think so. And he perform uh, in a decent way in all of them, and he's really fun to play. A really good game play with uh, the summons and the shields and the range attack. So I really like him. Uh, if we talk about how strong he is compared to the other characters that were added in the update 2.9. Well, first of all, you have Dormammu at the top. Obviously, he is a tier 2 native and he is in the premium character class. Uh, when I say premium, I just say about uh, like Doctor Strange, Odin, uh, the Black Orders. I call them the premium characters. Uh, after that, you have Inferno, that is the uh, Number two, uh, incru insane damage inferno, uh, some iframes, so he has decent survivability. Then, after that, number three will be uh, Crystal, but she is really close to be even with uh, Maximus. Maximus follower just behind, but um, they have totally different gameplay. But uh, if we take the strength and the weakness of both of them, and we put them together, they are about the same awesomeness level. So, Maximus, uh, guys, we're going to be looking at this gear, obelisk, skills, ISO, stats. But before we do all of that, guys, I'm going to play some uh, gameplay I recorded for you guys. And when we come back from the gameplay, we'll analyze a little bit the gameplay we just watched and we'll go with the build.
So guys, I hope you enjoy uh, the gameplay I just share with you. Uh, we had the uh, wall bus at tier one. Um, it was actually pretty fun to do it. I thought that was going to be more of a challenge than that, but uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, and like, if you cannot afford to get uh, Maximus to tier two, you can see that if you put some strikers and bring him a tier one, he can clear almost all the uh, the wall bus. We will exclude a Thanos Infinity because. Uh, uh, he needs a tier <laughs> tier two for that, but at tier one he can clear them all. Uh, his minions just take the eat, and you shoot while you stay range for the rest. So it's pretty easy. Uh, for the tier two gameplay, guys, we started with the story mode, uh, chapter eleven, mission one. Like you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You do your two summons, you pop your shield. You use your second skills to uh, paralyze the target, then you AoE them down with your first skills, which is pretty, pretty strong for our first skills, guys. Uh, after that, we add a timeline battle. Well, I didn't expect him to survive, to be honest, guy. A uh, timeline was just to test him a little bit. I was quite surprised that I was able to take down Sharon Roger Rogers that easily. Uh, it was pretty awesome. But I didn't expect much against uh, Doctor Strange, especially with the huge AoE. Like the minions were just gone in a second. That was that's what I was expecting, though. Uh, after that, we had some uh, co-op mode. Well, co-op mode, uh, I was highly surprised with the amount of damage I was able to pull without any good uh, leadership. Clear. Co-op mode, uh, I think it was about 15 seconds or so. That was awesome, in my opinion. 700k damage during that little amount of time was pretty good. After that, we did Alliance Battle Extreme Pla Blast Mail with Maximus. Uh, <clears throat> to be honest, guys, I did not expect to get die that eye of score with him. So guys, if you build them with <coughs> the optimal open list, the optimal awakened easel set, uh, optimal Yuru, I really think that for people who do not have uh, <coughs> Doctor Strange, he is one of the best blast male character in the game to do Alliance Battle Extreme. Uh, at tier one, guys, uh, I did not uh, record it, but he can easily clear alliance battle normal for a blast day and he can clear about all any shadowland level even at tier one except maybe a venom floor because he gets uh, he takes a lot of damage from uh, the venom aoe because he cannot dodge that so that was uh, i tried him there that's where i use him this and the last Shadowland and it wasn't good but against any other floor he could do really good well we're gonna exclude the floor where you have energy damage reflex for sure and physical damage reflex because of the summons but anything else he can pretty much do it easy even at tier one so guys let's start with this build okay first gear uh, unlike other characters it's first gear you want to go all attack all the way. Why is that? The reason is pretty simple. Maximus benefit from energy attack. But his minions from his skills number 4 and 5 do not benefit from energy attack. They benefit from physical attack. So by adding all attack instead of energy attack here. You really buff the damage of his minions, which will make him greater. Uh, second gear, uh, you pretty standard all defense in every slot. Uh, third gear, I put HP in all the slots, but usually people will put uh, HP by level at least 190% in the two uh, first slot. It will increase a little bit the amount of HP you're going to have. And in the fourth gear, what is important 
first priority is to get your skill cooldown cap. To know the cap of skill cooldown, you calculate 50% minus the alliance bonus you're getting. You need to cap your skill cooldown. Then you need to cap your in your defense to 50%. Then your attack speed to 130%. Um, the ca this character doesn't get any much uh, stats from uh, critical rate and critical damage at base, so it's not something I actually recommend putting on unless you are cap on skill cooldown in your defense and attack speed already. For the Odin Blessing guys, or if you want to call it a Yuru. Uh, I recommend uh, in each gear. I recommend it, but two energy attack Yuru, two physical attack Yuru, and one other Yuru of your choice. It depends skill cooldown, in your defense, uh, attack speed, uh, HP, or critical rate, critical damage, whatever uh, your cap tells you to do. It's not a really important fifth Yuru, but the for the ones in each gear are really important. You want to put your two energy attacks to increase your personal, well, Maximus personal uh, damage. Then you want to put two physical attack Yuru to increase your fourth skill and fifth skill's minion damage. Those are the most important thing to do in your Yuru for this character. Next guy, we're going to take a quick look at the Obelisk. The Obelisk I have equipped right now is in your defense with uh, Invincibility and Snare Resist. Well, the, in your defense is the best stats, as first stats for Maximus. But after that, you will want to have something like, uh, for the profs, you want to increase damage profs. That is for sure. And if she could get a stun resist or something like that at their stat, that will be amazing. Or even critical rate will be really good too. So my obelisk is not optimal. So you can see that getting Alliance Battle uh, Extreme score 94k with that kind of obelisk is pretty decent. Uh, for his easel set, uh, I. I currently have Power of the Angry Elk, like you can see, it's not even 6 stars max, so again, I was suffering for a lack of damage from there. Uh, I recommend getting either Power of the Angry Elk or Overdrive. A Power of the Angry Elk is a little bit be better because of the attack speed you are getting on it. Uh, and you don't want to go with Akai's unless you are already capped on the in your defense that is for uh, the easel set also power team grill or overdrive easel set a fully awakened will give you a process of 40 percent to all attack next guys we're going to take a quick look at his skills we're going to go with this passive let's start with his leadership one of the more must useless leadership in the game guys Decrease debuff duration by 24%. It is, uh, in my opinion, totally useless. Tier 1 passive. Uh, apply to self. Increase damage dealt by 50% from a skill to machine type characters. And summon in Nilogen uh, with 30% of summoning stat. Uh, basically, it's summon. I think it's uh, two little uh, flying robots that shoot lasers. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty decent uh, passive. Uh, tier 2 passive. Increase damage dealt to a superhero type characters by 15%. Uh, 20% increase to all attack and defense of summon characters. And 15% increase to HP and 10% uh, duration increase of summon characters. So basically it's pretty much all about the minions with him. Uh, for the skill rotation guys, you want to pop your fifth skills every time you need your those summons up. I try to use it on cooldown so I don't have the the window where the summons is disappearing and I need to uh, reapply them. 
so they are always out also when you use these skills you will actually roll on the, on the ground a little bit so it's a good movement skills too if you get in trouble and it's you need to do your summons uh, it's really good to use then you have the fourth skill that will summons a huge uh, minion really tanky really good skill uh, also I forgot about the fifth skills if you are fighting stunnable targets those minions because there's three minions coming out with these skills they will just spam stun over and over then the, the third most important skill is the third skill it will give you a guard against it uh, so it's a really good skill to avoid damage or if there are um, enemies coming around you you will also shock them so it will give you uh, you know all the seconds that you can move out of there with a guard hit in addition so pretty good skill a uh, skill number two really useful against uh, stunnable targets really useless against wall boss uh, because the only good thing about this skills is the paralyze so like you seen in my alliance battle extreme video I will uh, use the paralyze then I'll use my first skills that does huge uh, AoE damage and uh, first skill is one of your best uh, damage skills well it's the best damage skills if we exclude the sentence and the shield so it's uh, it's a really great uh, skill and plus it's a huge AoE so uh, in a mode like uh, story mode or alliance battle it will do quite a lot of damage so that is for his skills guys next we're going to take, take a quick look at his stats uh, right now I have him as leader in the, grip, in the group with no team up so his energy attack is really low he's not made to be a lead leader in the group so uh, you put him a leadership like star lord or ancient one and his stats boost uh, with the stats i have around 15,000, close to 16,000 energy attack so this is pretty good but still i think it will be better to give him uh, all attack leadership if you uh, have one laying around that he can have uh, like you can see my attack speed is about 122 percent not optimal yet but it's getting there but like you seen i don't have any euro equipped yet uh, like you can see like i was saying his critical rate is really low critical damage is really low uh, my reduced cooldown duration right now it's at 31 percent uh, since i never use him alone and i always use a team up that give him five percent reduced cooldown duration i keep him at 31 percent for this reason because he gets is 36 percent with the team up and basically uh 14 percent from alliance uh, bonus so that's all i have my 36 percent i have my in your defense that is capped to 50 percent and that's pretty much it guys like i said i really love the character um He's not a top character, but he is really useful and he's an amazing alternative for a free to play player uh, for Alliance Battle Extreme, Blast uh, Mail, or even no restriction if you don't have good characters to put there. And he's easily formable with a special mission. Uh, if you do your special mission uh, daily, you could probably have him within uh, three to four weeks. To six stars and start being able to play him there so he's a really easy farmable and productive character so guys i hope to enjoy this small character guide slash review uh, if you enjoy my content feel free feel free to subscribe and like my video and uh, to stay up to date for my future uh, video and stream guys thank you and have a good day